Hi, um, mathematicians. This is Mrs. Munoz, and I noticed that some of you are having a hard time with coming up with reasons for why we study place value in real life. And so I wanted to make this video to hopefully give you one example to kind of get your brain going. It's not a perfect example, or, or should I say it's not an example that you might see that's obvious in real life, but it is one that happens. And uh, I think that it will help you kind of get some of your ideas going about what um, how place value is applied in real life. So, um, I actually found this idea online and I'm kind of adjusting it, so I will share my source. Um, but it's all about having, a, about a chocolate factory, essentially. So, um, a chocolate factory starts out with having boxes of chocolate, so one box equals one, and cases of chocolate, so that's like a big box that you fit ten boxes into. And then um, on pallets, which is like what they use the um, big forklifts to move around, there fits 100 boxes or 10 cases. So an example would be then that they have five pallets, two cases, and three boxes. Maybe that's how much a store gets delivered to them or how much a store has at the time and then they need the factory to bring them more or not bring them more because they haven't sold enough, that kind of thing. So um, then you would want to say, okay, well, exactly how many boxes do they have? Well, we could read it across as like a standard number of 523 boxes of chocolates, or we could say they have five pallets, two cases, and three boxes. So it kind of groups them in there. Or we could also expand it out to um, expanded form, which would be 500 boxes, 20 boxes, and three boxes. And stores or the factory might track this on um, a spreadsheet or something like that when they send in their orders, that kind of thing. So kind of having these designations of groups is helpful for um, making orders and things like that. Um, so it's just one way that place value could be used. Obviously, um, stores use different groupings of things um, for how many boxes fit in a case and how many cases fit on a pallet, um, that kind of thing. But it's an, an example, and I want you to also kind of think of how place value could be used in other ways in real life. So hopefully this gets your mind going and helps you kind of up your rigor and understanding of place value. Okay, thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.